Afternoon everyone, this is my second bike video. My first one is of the Specialized Diverge Expert one by system. Uh, it was one of the first nice bikes I bought and I thought this would be a, uh, a great follow-up. Uh, I actually replaced the Diverge with this one. I was looking for something a little more racy, a little more sporty. I wasn't uh, taking it off-road as much as I thought, so I wanted something a little more road-friendly. Um, where I live, it's a lot of chip seal, it's a lot of asphalt, it's mix, uh, but I want something a little more sporty, it's a little more comfortable for me uh, being in that position uh, than it was being more upright. We have a lot of winds up here in North Texas, so that's always a challenge, so being able to tuck down, uh, get a little more arrow is always helpful. So with that said, like I said, this is the 2018 Trek Amanda SL6 disc. Um, Basically, I'm going to review all the major highlights here of this bike. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the specific measurements. If you want to do that, feel free to jump onto the uh, Trek Bikes website. They will give you every single measurement of this frame um, that you could ever imagine. But uh, we're going to go over some of the basic stuff that comes with the bike, some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, uh, as well as the accessories that I chose to put on this bike. Uh, I replaced a couple of stock pieces uh, due to some of the deals I've had or due to some of the uh, pieces from former bikes I was able to carry over. Um, so this is the actual matte silver and black finish. Uh, I love the color scheme. It's easy to clean. You don't have to be super cautious with the matte finish, uh, but I just think it's a great look, especially out in the sun, uh, in the shade. It just has a nice blend of that silver black uh, look to it. Um, so stock options include it's, uh, you know, the typical SL frame, which is a very nice, very light frame. Um, it is the 500 series carbon, uh, which makes for a very nice and compliant ride overall. Uh, no problems with that whatsoever. Uh, it comes with a full Shimano R8000 Altegra group set. The best thing the truck does and has been doing recently has been making sure that the entire bike is spec'd out with the same group set when you get into this level of bike. So from top to bottom, left to right, everything is Ultegra. That includes the front and rear derailleurs, the chain, the cassette, the brakes, the shifters, everything. So it makes it very easy to uh, find those pieces in and around. You're not trying to mix and match. Uh, which is what some of the other manufacturers do, not all but some, uh, to help uh, saving costs. So when I see something with like a 105 chain and cassette, but it's an Ultegra rear derailleur and it's something else in the front, I know how I am. I I'm not a huge fan of that look. Uh, I just prefer to have it all in one. So Trek has fortunately been doing that for a long time now. Um, Another thing is this is uh, the non-disc version of this, so your typical rim brake, uh, which also is, uh, I believe in this one is Von Traeger uh, brakes. I've had them on a former bike, they're great brakes. Uh, they're very adjustable, um, but that version of the bike has been, have rave reviews from Bicycling Magazine to the more uh, Europe-based Bike Radar and Cycling Weekly. Uh, it's listed on Best Buys, it's listed on some of the best bikes under 2,000 pounds if you're in Europe. Um, but it's got reviews everywhere, it's not tough to find. The disc uh, version, not that it's tough to find in stores, but some of the reviews are a little more difficult. They typically rate the SLR uh, version versus the SL. Uh, the SLR obviously gets you a slightly better carbon layout. Um, it usually gets you a Dura Ace mechanical at minimum. But the, uh, this bike has been phenomenal. Uh, I, I picked it up earlier this year and it, it rides great. It's comfortable. Um, the entire bike is very compliant overall. It's just set up really nice overall for a nice, easy way to ride. Uh, the base bike cost me right around, uh, I believe 2,600 uh, with the stock wheels. Uh, but everything else, you know, I kind of carried over. So. A lot of people do that with uh, old to new bikes. They'll carry over bottle cages, computers. I did the exact same thing. Uh, so I only had a couple little pieces here that cost me uh, a little more money. Um, going on to the next main part here is if you do find the reviews and it is the SLR uh, version, it's gonna cost you a couple thousand additional right off the bat. 
you are going to get, I believe, a 700 series layup of carbon, which is kind of their upper echelon uh, carbon layup. But I see no problems with this. Uh, this is the 56 centimeter uh, version of it. But to save yourself a pound and a half, roughly, and to spend an extra two grand, for me, that just didn't make a lot of sense. The, the benefit of the features of this bike and how closely they are related to the SLR uh, made this kind of a no-brainer for me. I love the colors on this one, so uh, it spoke to me. I had a good deal uh, with the local bike shop here, so shout out to Richmond Bike Mart. Um, Colton Hopper is the uh, sales manager there. He really worked for me uh, on this bike, which uh, he's been a good friend of mine for a couple years now. So. Uh, shout out to them uh, and all the guys there. They, they've been phenomenal with this bike. They've really helped take care of me. Um, but yeah, this is, the, I chose the SL6 uh, disc. I wanted the disc braking uh, for some of the, you know, wetter days here or the mud weather here. Uh, but it's been, it's been phenomenal. I've had it since the early spring. So I thought now after several hundred miles would be a smart time to review it. Uh, total of this bike weighs around 18 pounds. Uh, so it's still fairly lightweight for what it is. I know it's a climbing bike, but 18 pounds, and that's with the pedals, that's with the bars, that's with the computer, lights. Uh, I did not have the saddle bag for that measurement. So at 18 pounds, almost fully loaded without the actual bottles, uh, I think is, is, is fairly uh, competitive with everything in the price category. Um, so going over the bike here, like I said, there's always some things that you love and hate about every bike, unless you're uh, getting it customized for you right off the bat. But at this price point, you kind of get what you get. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I maximize those dollars. Um, looking over the bike here, I'm gonna pick this thing up and try and keep it as stable as possible. So one of the upgrades I did was I upgraded to the Reynolds Assault uh, disc. Uh, I found a great deal at Western Bike Works. They were basically knocking off 600 bucks around the Tour de France 2018. Um, these have been phenomenal wheels. They're 41 mil deep. Uh, they do come with the discs um, on it uh, when I bought it. So I was, I was fortunate there, but they're uh, 41 mil deep. They're 25 millimeter wide. Uh, I put some Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless on there. Uh, so it makes it for a very aero profile. I'll get that in here. So you can kind of see there, the dead bubble out. It's very streamlined, it's great, uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I did not save a ton of weight with these wheels versus the other stock wheels. Uh, the stock wheels were right around 15, 50 grams. Uh, those guys are right over here, uh, but they are all aluminum. They come with some decent Von Trigger R2 tires, 700 by 25. Uh, but the deal on these was, it was too good. 600 off uh, on some carbon wheels, it's hard to pass up. These are fine for every day. For most riders, it's not a problem. Don't let everybody kind of fool you that carbon you have to go. Uh, it was just a deal that I couldn't pass up. So, wheel, like I said, wheels are fantastic. The tubeless setup's been fantastic. No problems whatsoever. I was able to set it up in about 15 minutes total. Uh, going to the cockpit here, uh, you can see that they've got the little taller uh, hoods for the disc brakes. Uh, I do have the Wahoo Element Bolt that I carried over from a formal bike. Uh, this bike also did come with the blender stem. Uh, don't, if you buy a Trek, don't let them forget about the blender mount. Uh, they're supposed to come with it. A lot of times they don't include it. Uh, a lot of people have their own mounts. But the way this integrates in here is phenomenal. It makes it very symmetrical. There's almost no break there. Um, but I love the way it looks. I love the way it's set up. Uh, so just make sure you get the one fit for your stem and your handlebar. And I, and I promise you're gonna love the addition with GoPro mount uh, style for the lights. Uh, you can do the actual GoPro camera. Um, I got the uh, spur cycle bell here. Uh, phenomenal, super loud. It's great to get attention for charity rides. It's great to get attention for on back roads, uh, but very sleek, black anodized goes in uh, streamlined with everything else. Uh, I don't have this slammed, um, really no need to for what kind of style I do, so was not a big deal there. Uh, down here, I've got the Arendelle uh, water bottle holders. Those came over from a former bike. They're the carbon fiber ones. Um, super lightweight, let's face it, plastic and carbon in terms of 
Uh, water bottle holders is not a huge deal. Uh, I just carried them over from the former bike. Uh, once again, I got the rear matching Bontrager Tra Ion rear light. Uh, that's the red, the front's the white, obviously. Uh, I've got an Arendelle uh, seat pack. The saddlebag's actually been great, it's super small. Being tubeless, I only have to carry one tube on any given ride, which is great. Uh, I did upgrade the seat. Uh, this seat's actually been with me for about three to four years. It's the Cella Italia Max SLR. You can kind of see the big channel there. Uh, it may look a little bit bulky, but it is super comfortable. Uh, it's been with me on several bikes now. Uh, it gives me plenty of way to move forward, back, uh, and tilt. So I just keep it going. It looks brand new. I take care of it. Uh, the rest of it, as you can tell, I've got uh, Ultegra pedals, just to kind of go in line with the rest of the Ultegra package, but let's face it, Ultegra pedals um, and component groups that have been around a long time, they're fantastic, they work well, uh, there's no problem. Ultegra rear derailleur, uh, I also like that it comes with the Ultegra disc brakes. Uh, you can tell that they're a little more streamlined, they're a little more aero. They don't have the big gaps in it, so uh, just a little bit of thing that Bontrager thinks of. It's got the uh, screw and through axles. Those are great. They're actually by DT Swiss. Those come stock as well. Um, and then over here, I got a small little bike frame pump. Uh, attaches uh, to the Arendelle water bottle cage holder. It's great. Um, so I've had no problems with this bike. It's been phenomenal. It rides super well, it's super quiet, no issues from the dealer, no issues since I bought it. Um, but I've had a great time with it. I think tubeless is the way to go uh, moving forward. Like I said, I've had no punctures, I've taken it on trips, I've traveled with it. Uh, it's just super easy to take care of. Um, other than that, like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to shoot me messages. The last video got a lot of uh, comments, questions, which is great. Um, I don't mind sending out referrals to whomever, uh, but take a look at it. If you guys are interested in a kind of a lightweight uh, climbing bike, even a little bit of a race day bike, uh, it's been great. I would say my only complaint is Bontrager and Trek have done a great job integrating cables into their frame. If you look at that, that's super slick into the front, takes care of the rear brake, the front and rear derailleurs, and then you come up to the front here and they zip tie it to the front. I don't understand that. I don't really get the aesthetic look of it, uh, but that's what they did. I think it would have been just as cheap for them to run it through the frame to keep it a little cleaner in the front end. But who am I to say? It's just a comment. Uh, but check out the bike, the SL6 disc. You can find it online, you can find it in your local bike shop. Uh, Comments, questions, concerns, feel free to ping me. But thanks a lot for listening, and I will talk to you all on the next bike. Bye-bye.